Hello friends, let's begin with azure curves. This is another type of synthetic curve where the local points plays an important role. Let's start. Bezier curve are based on approximation techniques. Curve resulting from these techniques pass through the given points. And the Bezier curve is defined in the term of n plus 1 points. These points are also called as control points where n is the degree of the curve. In order to provide more flexibility for changing the shape of the curve, it's developed by P. Bezier at Renault Automobile Company, France, is used for car surface. So, if you observe, there's a starting point, ending point, and there are two control points. So, starting point, always remember it's having u value is 0, and at the end point, u value is 1, that is minimum value and maximum value. Then there are two control points, P1 and P2, that is characteristic of polygon. So, those P1 and P2 also control the whole part of the curve. So, this is also called as convex hull property. Remember this. The flexibility increases with increase in number of control points. The figure shows the uses of given point or vertices as control for approximating the generated curve. Disadvantages of Bezier curve, it's having lack of local control. For improved design flexibility, a large number of control points resulting in a higher degree of polynomial and that can be difficult to handle. Okay, so if you increase the control point, degree of polynomial also increase and it is difficult to control. So these are the some examples. If you observe, we can shift the P2 point or P1 point downward side. So shape of the curve it changes in first figure if we move p2 point in downward side again shape is little bit changes there are a b c d e okay there are different changes are there if we can create any type of closed loop also here with the increasing number of points okay so most of the cases in every case, if you observe, you can control the particular part of the curve. For example, if we consider A point, A figure, in that you observe P0 and P1 will cover only half part of the curve, while P3 and P, P2 and P3 will cover another half part. Okay, so if these local points move, the curve will be changes. Okay. The parametric equation for Bezier curve with n plus 1 data points passing through the points P0 and Pn can be written as P of u is equal to summation of i 0 to n Pi C n comma i u raised to i 1 minus u n minus i. It is 0 to 1. Similarly, we can write this equation as P of u i is equal to 1 to n P of i C n comma i u raised to i 1 minus u n minus i. So, P of u will be written in the form of after taking computation P naught 1 minus u raised to n plus C n comma 1 P1 u 1 minus u raised to n minus 1 plus c n comma 2 p2 u raised to 2 1 minus u raised to n plus n minus 2 plus so on plus c into n comma n minus 1 p n minus 1 u raised to n minus 1 1 minus u plus pn u raised to n in 0 to 1. 
where c n comma i is equal to n factorial divided by i factorial upon my n minus i factorial so remember it's a combination so we have to use this formula for solving the problem this is a bezier curve formula okay where n plus 1 these are the data points and n is the degree of freedom or degree of curve okay thank you so much hope you understand well